In this module, I will discuss about somatic cell genetics, fusion of interspecific somatic cells. So, what is cell fusion? G. Bursky and B. F. Roshi first developed the methods for fusing somatic cells. Cell fusion has profound impact on gene mapping. Cell fusion was carried out either by inactivated Sendai virus or by a chemical polyethylene glycol or PEG. Now how cell fusion occur? What is the mechanism of cell fusion? Now here in this diagram we are showing that is the fusion of two type of cell, mouse cell and human cell. Here mouse and human cells are selected because mouse and human they belong to a same group that is the mammalia. Secondly, cytologically their chromosome could be demarcated because in case of mouse small acrocentric chromosomes are present while in human the chromosomes are of all types, metacentric, submetacentric, acrocentric, etc. Here, inactivated Sendai virus is used for fusion of two cells. So, first what happened? A cytoplasmic breeze is formed. Cytoplasmic breeze is formed between the two cells. Two cytoplasmic membrane breakdown and the cell fuse. So, two nuclei are visible over here that is the mouse and human nuclei. Then chromosome division occurred. The, at the first mitotic division, we can see over here a spindle is formed. In the spindle, both mouse and human chromosome present, which further divided and the daughter cell, it carries that is the single nucleus with both mouse and human chromosome. So this is the hybridization, that is the fusion of human and mouse cell. Now this fusion or hybridization can be used for gene mapping. Now for gene mapping, one of the important part of the experiment is the selection of hybrid cells. Now, hat medium is used for the selection purpose. What is hat medium? Hat medium consists of hypoxanthine, aminopterin and thymidine. This medium prevents the growth of cells with defects, that is biochemical defects. Moreover, cell deficient in thymidine kinase, TK- or hypoxanthine Phosphoribosyl transferase, that is HPRT minus, cannot grow in hat medium. Only hybrid cells producing both enzymes grow in hat medium. So, this is the importance of hat medium. Now, in the hat medium, that is H stands for hypoxanthine. Hypoxanthine, it is a purine base. On the other hand, Thymidine, it is a pyrimidine base, which are the exogenous source of purine and pyrimidine. On the other hand, aminopterin, which is an inhibitor of purine and thymidylate metabolism. So, it inhibit the synthesis of or it inhibit the synthesis of purine and pyrimidine. So, this is the your compositions or importance of your hat medium. Now, an alternative approach to gene mapping. So, cellular hybridization is an approach for gene mapping and Oscar Miller and his colleagues in the year 1971 used this technique that is somatic cell hybridization to determine the chromosomal location of TK and HPRT genes on human chromosome. Now, main requirement is that hybrid cells express the human gene product should distinguishable from mouse product which is being 
expressed in hybrid. So this product should be demarcable so that gene could be detected. So here in this experiment, we'll show how we can localize human TK gene, how TK gene can be located. In this cross, here in this cross, we have used one mouse cell, which is a TK minus mouse cell, which hybridized with a TK plus human cell. In the hybrid cell, that is all the chromosomes are present, that is TK minus, HPRT plus, then TK plus and HPRT minus. Now in the head medium, only hybrid cells will be selected and it has been one of the important property of the hybrid cells are that human chromosome it lost continuously and the line, cell line is formed with a single human chromosome. Here in this selected hybrid cell human chromosome 17 is retained. Human chromosome 17 is retained. Now in this 17 chromosome, chromosome number 17, TK gene is located. So this from this hybrid cells that is from selected hybrid cell it can be concluded that TK gene is located on the chromosome number 17 because here mouse this TK minus that is thymidine kinase is not synthesized. So thymidine kinase is only synthesized by your human chromosome which can be detected uh, that is through your uh, enzymes can be detected. So from this hybrid cell we can conclude that human chromosome 70 contain your TKG. In the next experiment that is here is a reciprocal cross. In this reciprocal cross we have selected mouse cell which is HPRT minus and human cell HPRT plus. Here also there is a panel of cells where all the chromosomes are lost and one X chromosome, human X chromosome retained. Now this human X chromosome which is retained here HPRT gene is localized which can be detected through the detection of activity of HPRT enzyme because mouse HPRT minus is not synthesizing any HPRT. So from this hybrid selected hybrid cell we can come to the conclusion that is HPRT gene is x linked that is it is located on human X chromosome. So localization of gene is possible with cell hybridization technique. Moreover, we have also known that is we know that through linkage we can detect the uh, position of the genes on the chromosomes. So this is another method that is cell hybridization through which also we can locate the position of the genes on the chromosomes. Also there is the other method that is the human genome mapping by which we can locate the genes on the chromosomes. Moreover, if the products could not be detected, in that case also by in situ hybridization we can locate the position of the genes on the chromosome. Now, so this experiment is used for gene mapping that is location, localization of TK gene which has been concluded that is TK gene is located on the chromosome number 17 and HPRT gene is located on the X chromosome. So this is the one of the important methods for localization or gene mapping. In this module we have provided key concept and summary of module, list of books for further reading and study materials which you can download. Thank you for participation in our online